Has our eminent tactician figured out how the enemy plans to cross Fezabel Marsh? I'm afraid not. During the Renome season, the marsh flow weakens enough to make a crossing possible. But spirit climb changes have been thrown off kilter. The marsh flow should remain active. What's this marsh flow? The marsh's many bodies of water are linked together, with their water flowing through underground channels. If you were to fall into one, you'd get carried off to who knows where. Oh, that wouldn't be a problem. I'm a great swimmer. The maze of channels is quite complicated. It could be ten years before you're finally pulled to the surface. Yikes. Don't know if I can hold my breath for that long. And yet the enemy intends to cross it with a full army. That leads me to one conclusion. That Arjul has a tactician even greater than the Conductor himself? Yes. Greetings, it is I, Sonic Emerald, and welcome back to Tales of Exalia. We gotta head to Fezabel March to stop a war that's already begun. If you saw in the last scene, 50,000 soldiers on both sides. How are we supposed to stop a war like that? I don't get it. Anyway, you know, uh, putting logic into a game is not very good. Anyway, we gotta get out of Fedmont and head to, um, what is it? Arklung Crag? If that's how you say in the word? A lot of different words. I'll just beat you at the, the FMV for the Wyverns, because I was already there after this cutscene. Oh, that's some fine staffmanship. I'm still learning. I won't quit training till it's an extension of my body. Your dedication to your art is admirable. It puts mine to shame. Oh, I don't know about that. Now don't get all psyched up just because she praised you. Whatever, I'm psyched! Yeah! Ow! My head! See? What did I just tell you? No, it really hurts. He'll be fine. Here, I'll take care of it for you. Hmm. Leia truly handles her staff well. But Jude handles Leia even better. Hmm. Many of the provisions we packed are nearing their expiration date. You sure do sweat the little things. I'm surprised you could handle being a tactician. It is a tactician's duty to consider and prepare for every possible complication. Momentary oversights bring enduring wounds. But isn't it also true that a moment's hesitation can lead to a lifetime of regret? It is. Which is why a leader must make snap decisions without hesitation. Then I shall make the call. We will continue to eat the provisions until two months past the expiration date. Yes, ma'am. You must love that about her. The fact that she can cut through all your worries in an instant. <laughs> Are we talking about the way I feel about her or the way you do? <laughs> okay, I'm back. Now we gotta figure out where are we are we supposed to be going? Because I have no clue at this point. Because it doesn't really tell us. Uh, it's like we're trapped. Okay, I'm back. Uh, there is a way to go. You have to uh, start by the medical school, and uh, from there, there's a path. But, I got another sketch. It's been a while since you've been back to Fenmont. Don't you want to visit any of your friends? Uh, yeah, sure. Wait, you didn't make any friends while you were here? I made plenty of friends. It just. It feels like it's been forever since I went to school here. There is also a cutscene uh, in here. If you go all the way to the back here, to 
this door here. Dr. Jude, I didn't know you were back. I couldn't believe it when I heard that the military was after you. Oh gosh, where do I even begin? Take a deep breath, Prin. It's okay. Although, to be honest, so much has happened that I don't really know where to begin either. You weren't really a spy, were you? I can't imagine you being one. Are you kidding? Jude's smart and all, but I wouldn't hire this goofball to spy on his own nose. <laughs> a harsh yet accurate appraisal. Hmm. <laughs> you must be Leia. You're exactly as Dr. Jude described you. You always showed up in his stories, you know. Really? And here I thought he'd forgotten all about me. I only mentioned you a few times. Hey, is that a sylph, Jay? Are you treating it? Yes, I'm doing it as a special favor for an acquaintance of mine. That's the same bird Alvin uses. I didn't know it was called a sylph, Jay. They're pretty unique. They can channel wind spirits with their manalobe to help them fly long distances. Sylph Jays also have the ability to distinguish between the manalobes of different people and can use that to sense a person's location. Hence their popular use for military communication. Wow, little guy, you're pretty smart. Unfortunately, this little one flew too far, too fast, and ended up hurting his manalobe. Well, that was silly of you, but I like a hard worker. He'll weaken and die from the injury. And there isn't anything I can do to save him. There is a treatment that uses harmonica grass, but it's impossible to get right now with everything that's happening. Hey, if that's the case, I'll find some harmonica grass for him. What? You know I have a weakness for the smart but bumbling type. You're still talking about the Sylph Jay, right? <laughs> yeah, we gotta find a harmonica uh, glass and that's in the other area uh, won't be that hard to find and it's also an ingredient for uh, the shops uh, okay now if you come out of this school here look to the left and there's a pathway that will take you Right. Should be right here. Maybe it's this left. Aha! There we go. I didn't even see this. I really didn't see this. And now we've got new... Maybe new enemies? I understand that humans haven't engaged in large-scale warfare since the Battle of Fezabel 20 years ago. For someone who doesn't meddle in human business, you sure seem to know a lot about our history. I read a book about recent human history while I was convalescing in Laronde. You read it in a book? Guess Jude's not the only honor student. The book confirmed my theory. Humans haven't changed one bit since ancient times. And I suppose your impression of ancient times also comes from a book. Did you say something? Hmm? Oh, I just said that uh, as long as humans never change, we mercenaries will never go hungry. Yeah. All right. We do have new enemies here. Bog Rabbit, Ribbit, and Bog Plant. 7,500 and 5,000 are all we can fire. Which is no problem Should've for us. Should've gone a little easier. And you get mushroom powder from them. Ah, sweet. And we got another new enemy. There's the harmonica grass that we need. And wag. Mirror fish, 5200, all of we can fire. Far too easy. I think far too easy is an understatement, I think, when it comes to these enemies. 
Migrant plume. Okay, got another one. Uh, let's see here. What was I doing? Oh, I wanted to check something here. Did this place opened up yet? Anything opened up? No. Ah. With this harmonica grass, Prin can heal the Sylph Jay. Yeah, let's hurry back to Fenmont. Yeah, we will in a minute. Another new enemy. Here we go. Hog Polywiggle, 3700. A fantastic victory. No items from that. Would have been a great secret fort when I was a kid. I uh, got another one of those stat boosting items, which is good. All right, let's head back with the harmonic, harmonica, uh, harmonic, whatever how you say the word, grass. Get another lemon gel. And another hole. And what do we get? A treat. All right. All right, let's head back to the school here and drop this off. What? Our mission is finally over, and there still isn't anything you can do. Please, calm down, Lady Nadia. My friends will be back with harmonica grass for him soon. Blah, blah, friends, this grass, that. Don't you get it? We need to get out of here. We got the harmonica grass. The hell? Agria, what are you doing here? These your so-called friends? Yes. <laughs> this... Is classic. How do you know Prin? Because she's the liaison for us Azul spies. Lady Nadia? Ah, who cares? These chumps don't have the balls to rat you out. Prin's job is to pass all the juicy information I collect back to Azul. Is that true? It... it is. And this Sylph J was your means of communication. No way. <laughs> How does that feel, Pimple? How does it feel to know you tried your very best to help an enemy spy? Pee! Not only do you stink of hypocrisy, you reek of stupidity too! <laughs> oh, <wh> Leia! <laughs> I'd stay back if I were you. Wouldn't want to get my stench of stupidity on you. Come on. Excuse me. I just wanted to thank you for all your help. If you hadn't brought the harmonica grass, Bobo would have died. Now he's going to be fine. Tell me, do you have some connection to Agri... Rather, Nadia's family in House Travis? I do. My mother was her nanny. I've known her since she was a baby. So Agria really is nobility. Sadly, Miss Nadia's mother was a commoner, and she was subjected to much abuse because of it. The Travis family has always been focused on privilege, even by the standards of the six ruling houses. Eventually, Nadia's mother, the only support Nadia had, 
became estranged from the Travis family leaders. She died shortly after, and Nadia was convinced they had conspired to kill her. Is that why she became a spy for Azul? It's no excuse for selling out her country, but... Who could blame her at that point? I suppose what Rashigal was doing would be unacceptable in any country. Um, Prin, is Bobo the name of that sylph, Jay? Yes, Miss Nadia named him herself. She's been taking care of him since he was an egg. She's always loved him. I see. Thank goodness he's okay. Even if Agria did laugh at me. I'm glad that Bobo's all right. Yeah, we all are. You really are exactly how Dr. Jude described you, Leia. Indeed. She inspires smiles wherever she goes. I got a psychic ring for my troubles from that. All right. Uh, make it easier on myself. Let's go to... Uh, back here and continue on to the next area. I'll meet you there. Okay, I am back. I finally made it to the... Uh, other region of this area. Looks like ominous clouds are gathering up. My old bones tell me it will be a heavy rain indeed. Uh, yeah. I think he's talking about, like, the war going on. Could be about the war. It's the only thing I can think of. Just checking around and say, Ooh, a mysterious jewel. All right, even though I'm still about one behind. Ah. Anyway, yeah, don't need that. Lots of treasure around here. Which I don't mind getting. At least I know where to get. Damn it, game. Two away from maxing out these jet black feathers. see any rain, uh, Kipo, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, there's the Max Jet Black Feathers. And there's another hole. Let's see what we get in here. A Wisdom Ring. Alright. I think that's all the stuff that's long, long here now. Let's go ahead and continue on to the next area. Or maybe not. We got another treasure chest. All right. At least we're starting to get items that we're supposed to be getting, not like apple gels like way in, later in the game for some strange reason. Alright, what do we got over here? Northwest region. There should be one more Alfred treasure somewhere. And just like that, we're at war? Yes. And with tens of thousands of soldiers on either side, it looks to be a massive one. Everbloom. All right. Got another new ingredient. Gotta keep looking out for another Alfred treasure because we're headed to Fizbell Marsh, and I'd really like to find one more Alfred treasure along here.
and uh, I think I have enough uh, jet black feathers to finish this out. All that work for syrup bottle. Alright. My question would be, where if I was a Elfry treasure, which I'm not sure exactly what it is, well, where would I be put at? Right over there! Alright! The Devil Tail. Okay. Okay. I give up with these Alfred treasures. Got another Pacific. I thought there was something behind there. Nothing there. More jet black feathers that I do not need. And it looks like we've made it to Fizzbell Marsh. I wonder why it's called Fizzbell Marsh. I'm thinking it's Marsh area, but man, I could be wrong. enemy go away game really you're gonna stand there and then come straight towards me I get I give up I give up with the game half the time you know what it does but anyway we made it to Fezabel Marsh are we supposed to be stopping a war, or...? I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Find out next time on Tales of Exalia. This is Sonic Emerald saying goodbye. And see you on the flip side. Like and subscribe to my channel. It's much, much appreciated. And hit that notification bell for all the latest updates on my channel. Ah, this game, I'm telling you.